and the price you pay for using tobacco. In this interactive and educational session, we will learn about the price people pay for using tobacco. We will review how tobacco use affects our health and our budgets. We will discuss the benefits of quitting tobacco and do exercises to learn how much we can save if we quit smoking or using tobacco. These exercises will enable participants to see how much of their money goes to household expenses and how much goes to tobacco. The cost of tobacco products and taxes on tobacco. Using tobacco products is becoming more and more expensive as state and federal taxes on tobacco products rise. In 2009, the largest federal tobacco tax increase in history took effect. The tax rise means that the cost of all tobacco products, including bulk tobacco use, in rolling cigarettes and mini cigars will increase. A pack of cigarettes may cost more than $9 depending on where you live today. The average cost of a pack of cigarettes in Maine is 6.62, which is the 16th highest in the United States. What makes this more shocking is that it only costs about the tobacco companies less than 10 cents to make a pack of cigarettes. This means the tobacco companies are making a lot of money from the people who buy tobacco products. You may wonder why the government raises taxes on tobacco products. There's evidence that shows that raising tobacco per, 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 proses, prices does cause people to quit, stop smoking. Thomas Carr, the American Lung Association manager of national policy in Washington, D.C., stated for every 10% increase in the cost of cigarettes, there's about a 7% reduction in use among young people and about 4% for adults. It really does help prevent youth from starting smoking. So do you know how much you spend each week, each month, or each year? Almost 80% of people with severe mental illness smoke consuming nearly half of all the tobacco sold in the United States. The cost of smoking or using tobacco can have a great impact on your income or the income of your family and friends. A chart from the recent study shows that people diagnosed with schizophrenia who receive public assistance like Medicare or Medi Medicaid or Medicare benefits spend over one quarter of their monthly income on cigarettes. So the orange is the cigarette, and then the rest, the blue, is food, shelter, expenses. So exercise. How much money do you spend on tobacco products? How much is your monthly income? So first figure out how much you make every month. Think about how much of it you spend on the following items. So rent, utilities, food, transportation, and tobacco. Does it seem like you're spending a lot of money on tobacco? So look at the charts on the following pages. They show approximately how much money on average someone can save weekly, yearly, mo weekly, monthly, yearly, and in five years if you quit smoking cigarettes. You can figure out how much you might be spending on cigarettes and how much you might be uh, and how much you could save if you actually quit by using the chart. I just realized I wrote the same sentence twice. So, I might not talk during the next things because there's a lot of information. I'm just going to have the charts up and give you time to actually examine them.
Smoking cigarettes is expensive. You may not realize how much money you or someone you know spends on cigarettes. In five years, you have smoked away enough money to buy a brand new vehicle. If you smoke at least a pack of cigarettes a day, you can buy many nice things if you quit smoking or using tobacco. Imagine having money to buy things like a lap new laptop computer, cable television, um, a new cell phone, an air conditioner, a high definition television, a DVD player, an MP3 player, a car payment, new furniture, a nicer apartment in a better neighborhood, uh, new clothes that do not smell like smoke, dinner at a restaurant, or a trip. Do any of these, like, seem like they'd be better alternatives than to tobacco? The price you pay for tobacco use means that you could, uh, you may have to go without many of these nice things. You could also buy other things that could have additional benefits that are good for your health, including a gym membership, a bike or exercise machine, a be fit, uh, better quality foods like fresh vegetables, tobacco or tobacco sensation medications. Many insurance companies cover some or all of the costs of the FDA approved medications for tobacco cessations and or counseling or other supports for tobacco cessation. It will be important for you to check with your insurance provider or see what tobacco cessation support they cover. Think about all the money that you could save by quitting some tobacco. And then finally, this is just some stuff. So how much money do you have available each week, each month? What are some things you can buy if you quit using tobacco? Remember, these items may help you when you are trying to quit smoking or using tobacco products. So that's it for this video. Thanks for listening.